All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Live. My name is Typo, and this is Fallout New Vegas, part 86. And we are currently getting a tour of Vault 21 from Sarah, who seemed very excited to give it to us. So, you know, we're going to play along with that, for better or worse. And I'm feeling very confident that we are not going to die this episode, so... No worries, no stress. Above us, there's the control center for this level of the vault's life support systems, electric grid, radioactive shields, and all that jazz. Don't get lost. My vault has many corridors and rooms, although it is no longer symmetrical after Mr. House threw us out. How do you get up there? Mr. House threw you out. Can he Hello. do that? It's your vault, isn't it? Okay, so there are other people down Hello. here. I guess it is a hotel. How many other people here are vault dwellers, though? Oh, there's tables! What? Oh, that's right, because they gambled to settle arguments. That's so good. This is the main game hall. Here we settled the big disputes among the vault's levels. Chosen representatives gambled against each other here. The winner earned the right to settle the dispute as wished by the collective. Almost out of caps. That's incredible. That's We've really cool. Parties in this diner. A bitch to clean later, but well worth it. <laughs> Ain't that every good party? A bitch to clean later. This is a pretty cool looking this vault. All leads to our guest rooms. You can use the first room on our left, but no snooping next door. That's my room. Always was. Interesting. Okay. Oh, that's up a staircase. Okay, got it. Oh, I hit tab on accident instead of caps lock. Down there is the game room. Guest room. Each side of the vault had one, but the other is filled with concrete now. Okay, that wraps it up. I'll what? See you soon. The other side is filled with concrete Good to now. See you again. What do you mean? Uh. Ask you some. Are you the owner of this hotel and shop? Well, it is my vault, all right. I mean, yeah, that is, no. I take care of it, but I suppose you could say that it belongs to Mr. House. What does Mr. House have to do with Vault 21? Mr. House has everything to do with Vault 21. He tried to get us out before he filled it with concrete. What? I almost went eight. So we convinced him. Okay, Sheldon and I, right? We convinced him to leave the top level mostly intact. Why did he build the vault with concrete? I don't know. Maybe he didn't want anybody sneaking around down there. That's messed up. runs deep and wide. It's filled with corridors and rooms that go far. Or it did. What gives him the right to screw us with the royal shaft anyway? So he saved New Vegas. Woohoo! Now scram and let us go on with our lives. Sheesh. <laughs> uh, she's so expressive. Um, I would like to know uh, other things about you in this hotel. I see. Okay, your move. You run the place, then? Yeah, and you gotta dig what I did with it. Looking as good as it should? Almost. Do you miss the old days in the vault? It was bustling with activity. We all knew each other so well. You see, the vault kept us all even. It's all symmetry and windows down there. We solved any quarrels through gambling. Lady Luck cast no eyeballs, you know? So, nobody shafted anyone else. Yeah, I miss those days. So, wait, this vault was actually working out really well, is what you're saying. That's rare among vaults. That's kind of crazy. You know Doc Mitchell? Mitch? You mean Molebutt? I hadn't thought about that name in a long time. I was just a child, and he had a big mole in his rear bumper. You understand <laughs> okay. the kids and all that? Everyone knows about each other in a vault. There's no other way. I hope Mole, I mean, Mitch, is doing well. So Mitch is from Vault 21. You get a lot of business? Sure. The place is packed. Usually. We get loads of NCR cubes these days. A stray Brahmin baron once in a while, and recently circled couples shining big rocks on their fingers. <laughs> okay, I had other questions for you. Okay, how can I help you? This is kind of crazy. Some things I wanted to know about you. I see. Okay, your move. What'd you say about not being the owner of the hotel and shop? You've never actually left this place? Sure I have. I made the scene in the strip. It's just that I really like it here. Vault 21 is a kick. So she has been to the strip. Sarah, there's something else behind all this, right? Okay, you're right. 
I hate going outside. It's almost impossible for me to step out of here. Still, I love my vault. It's my pad. Okay, interesting. So she's afraid of being outdoors? Uh, I'm looking for Carlitos. Do you know him? Carlitos, huh? Yeah, I do. Try the diner. But don't start any trouble, you hear? He's here at this locale. Okay. Good to see you again. Yeah, do you? Let me see what you have for sale. Take a look at this. 600 caps. And nothing else I want. Okay. Then I have some pre war money for you. A hundred of these, 101 of these, and you'll be nice. There you go. Enjoy. Another satisfied customer. Her, her voice just completely changed. Okay, see you soon. <laughs> We're at 95,000 caps. We are almost to the big one hundo. That's definitely happening. Wow, there's a lot of people here, actually. This place is kind of packed. They had pool tables, chess, blackjack, roulette. No slots, but I guess you don't play against someone else in slots. So that doesn't really count. Strip letter one. What is strip letter one? Services. Diner menu. Enjoy our hearty meals. Asphar tame sugar bombs give the youngins an early boost. Real corn flour pancakes would make Monfanto Co. proud. Savory iguana sausages. No, we only cook female iguanas. <laughs> ha ha ha. Lunch. Mesquite flavored cazador wings. Get back at them with spice? Damn, those actually sound kind of delicious. And also, F cazadors. I'd love to eat one. Applesauce gecko stew. So I'll give you a crawl up the wall. <laughs> Creamy mac and cheese. Your wife will stop asking for clam chowder. Dinner, Brahmin sirloin on blue bighorn cheese. Even Gandhi could not sit this one out. <laughs> yum yum deviled eggs over pork and beans. Go out tonight with a bang. Grilled mantis claw and pinion nuts. Has he been for too, has he been has he been for too long in Gamora? All meals serve from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Huh. Gift catalogs, real leather with real attitude. Vault 21 suits, pre-war toasters, books, car Vault 21 card decks stacked with 200 years of good luck. That actually sounds kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Pool sets, I do need one of those for my pad. Be among the elite to bring possess a piece of the past in your bright future. Convenience. Courtesy intercom, wake up calls, laundry facilities, guided tours, strip style poker lessons. Strip style poker lessons. <laughs> Room service, quote unquote. Network access, okay. Interesting. History of Vault 21. A paradise of equality. Vault 21 has a story unlike any other nuclear fallout shelter. You're about to learn why. It's common knowledge that some vaults were built and organized with motives that went beyond their function as safeguards of our last great hope. The hope that humanity would survive even the worst catastrophe imaginable, nuclear war. Vault 21 was one of these experimental vaults. In the spirit of Las Vegas, our vault was built and organized around gambling. Everyone you will, Everything you will see here follows the idea that humans can coexist and organize their lives based on the principle that skill is the only factor that should tip the blind balance held by Lady Luck. We embodied the perfect equilibrium between self-reliance and social equality. Each level of Vault 21 was symmetrical and transparent. Each room looked exactly like the next, and every gambling place was built in plain sights so that no person would have an advantage over another. Thanks to this, quarrels in our society were solved from an equal starting ground. The best one, just like our American dream promised so long ago. After 200 years of living in harmony, we finally awoke to the nature of the outside world when Mr. House and his able wisdom resurrected our lost city as New Vegas. <clears throat> That's crazy. It's, I can't believe how well this vault worked, I guess. Seven years ago, Mr. House rebuilt and organized the great city of New Vegas. Vault 21 rests in the middle of the Strip, and it was inevitable that it would become part of the city's bright future. Mr. House contacted our community and offered us to participate in the resurgence of New Vegas. Most Vault 21 dwellers refused to offer li the offer. Life was comfortable, safe, and fruitful. We had grown so accustomed to the benefits of our isolated society that we could not conceive leaving it behind for an unknown future teetering on a precarious balance. Still, there were some, some among us who disagreed with the prevailing wisdom. They challenged on Mr. House's behalf each of the vault level's representatives that supported continuing our isolation. According to the custom, a game would be set up where the winner would decide the course of the community's future. A game of blackjack was scheduled and held in this very level of Vault 21. After many hours of grueling struggle, Mr. House's supporters won in an extremely risky and fateful gambit. They decided to open up the doors to the outside world. That did not work out for them. The rest upheld our system and remained true to their promise to abide by the victor's decision. After almost 200 years within Vault 21's halls, we released the seals of the ancient doors and we opened to a new world. What a mistake! 
Mr. House, with the help of the families, had transformed the mostly unharmed ruins of Las Vegas into a paradise. It resembled the city that we remembered thanks to the stories and items that our forefathers told and secured in Vault 21 after the Cataclysm. We were awestruck and cautious at once. Slowly, we left the confines of the vault and settled within New Vegas, aiding in its reconstruction. Vault 21, a giant complex a giant complex of functioning machinery, became a great source of materials with which to rebuild New Vegas. Mr. House stripped the vault and filled its empty husk with concrete. Jesus. Only leaving behind part of the vault's top level. This section is where you now find hospice and where the warmth of our ancient home remains alive for all to enjoy. We have come to recognize the wisdom of Mr. House in forging a new and brighter future for all generations of New Vegas' inhabitants. Jesus, they were forced to write this for sure. Without his leadership, the barren wasteland would have remained uncivilized, savage, and brutal for all time. We sincerely hope that you join us in celebrating the glory of New Vegas and the memory of Alt-21's legacy. Bro, I actually like Mr. House a lot less now. This was such a cool vault and he ruined it! Oh, man. Pay up a try again, thank you. Damn, I'm a little upset about that. This was such a cool vault and Mr. House ruined it. Bastard Crocker's note. I wish to speak with you immediately in regards to important matters. I trust you've learned enough in your travels to know that the New California Republic is an honorable nation engaged in a beneficent in a beneficent mission in the Mojave in general, and New Vegas in particular. It is in addition a wealthy a wealthy nation that well rewards persons who dedicate themselves to its national interests, whether for reasons patriotic or material. Allow me to reassure you that if you have committed any crimes or misdemeanors against the Republic, it is in my power to pardon misconduct of this sort. I stand ready to receive you at your earliest convenience in my offices at the New California Republic Embassy at the south side of the Vegas Strip. So he can, like, forgive our murders, basically. <laughs> God, even though they don't seem to mind too much that we killed, like, five officers. God bless the New California Republic. Dennis Crocker, Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary Dep Department of State, New California Republic. Okay. Sure. Wonder what this terminal access card is for. Yeah, we found out. Snuff tapes. These tapes contain horrific sounds of murder and violence. You hear Clandon engaging in violent sex with women, and then hear the sounds of visceral and violent murder being carried out. Jesus! That's too much. It's morning right now in real life. That's too much. I just woke up like an hour ago. I can't be starting my day like that. Dear Edna, lost all our money at the casino. Send more Ace up. We'll get it all back. Trust me, Lenny. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, sure. Gonna get it all back. Good luck with that. Yeah, Vegas can break a lot of people. A lot of people don't know when to stop gambling. The house is stacked against you, man. Most of you will lose. That's, like, how the casinos stay in business, you know? Come on. You gotta go into casinos, like, in real life, I'm being honest, anybody watching this? You gotta go into casinos expecting to lose. And then if you win, that's just a fun surprise. Like, go in with money that if you're not, if you're missing it tomorrow, it's not at the end of the world. Billy, don't be mad, but I lost all our savings at the tops last night. It's not my fault. I was on a hot streak and was up 2,000 caps, but then I had a run of bad luck and lost it all. You were up 2,000 caps and lost it all? What are you doing? I'm going to see if I can scrounge up a few caps and try to get it all back. Please don't hate me, Sue. Oh, my God. You were up 2,000 caps and you blew it. Wait, do these have suits that I can sell her? They don't, but 50 bottle caps. Damn. Maybe I should have been checking out these, uh... Yeah, there's a jumpsuit right there. Pretty sure she'll call that stealing. Yeah, pretty sure she'll call that stealing. So we'll not do that, I guess. Man, that dresser had some valuable stuff. And then Mr. House just stripped one of the levels and concreted it, dude? That's so messed up. That's so jacked. These dressers are hot. When I have more inventory space, I'm going to take that power armor and helmet from Veronica so that she wears her dress. But for now, I don't have that space, so is what it is. Strip letter three? Yep. Hey mom, I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is that I didn't lose all my money on the silly gambling games as you call them. The bad news is that I lost all my money on one of the girls at Gamora. You would have liked her though. She was a real classy lady. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, since there's nothing left for me here and I'm all out of caps, I'll be heading home soon. Love you, Dennis. Oh my god, Dennis. Dennis. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, real classy lady I bet. There it is, the concrete. That is so nuts. How could they do that? 
they being Mr. House. Dude, this was a perfect vault and you ruined it. I've never heard of a better vault in all of Fallout. Both in premise and in its function. There's still pool tables in there. Why would you not... And a vending machine. Why would you not take that out? Even if you were just planning to scrap it. That's such a waste. Hey. Carlitos. Something about him just stood out. I'm not sure what it was. Hey, do you mind? I'm trying to drink myself to the ground right here. Scram. <laughs> I'm here on Joanna's behalf. What did you say? I mean, Joanna sent you. Please, tell me. Is she alright? When did you see her? What did she have to say? She didn't know if you were still alive. And then she has to know. I'm ready to help her escape once and for all. Am I even scared of Kachino and all those fuckers? Joanna and I are dead anyway if we don't get the hell out of here. Why don't you get her out of Gamora? What, you think I can just waltz in there and take her away? She's there, doll, now, okay? Besides, I step in Gamora and I'm as good as dead, you hear? You don't just leave the Emeritus unless it's in a body bag. Okay. Let me ask you some questions. Questions can wait. Joanna can't. What? I'll try... Oh, fine. I'll try talking with her, but not for free. Okay. You try that and let me know, okay? How she looks, what she's wearing, she's safe, anything. I'll pay you, you hear? Tutor Caps, we have a deal. Deal. Come back with news soon, you hear? Will you answer my questions now? All right. About what do you want to know? Okay, tell me about your past. You know, straightening up bets, Gamora, success, women, all that shiny stuff. You spent some time at Gamora then. What was it like? I didn't just spend time there. I lived there, okay? I was family. All I wanted, I had. Caps, booze, drugs, women, power. You name it. He was living it. It was heaven. Until you find that all the glitter is made of broken dreams and all the praise hides a knife pointing at your ribs. All right. Any important wise guys I should know now, about? if you have to ask, you probably don't know shit about who you're dealing with, huh? Listen up. Watch out for Kachino. I'm hearing That's so much I'm about Kachino. And Clandon needs to be more known about. What did you say about working at Gamora? It was he Okay, let me ask you about New Vegas. All right. What do you want to know? Uh, tell me about the strip. If you're smart, the strip's all flash and noise. If not... Lux, your dame, your hot date until you find she's a cheap whore high on jet. Whoa, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> There's Tell me what you really feel, Carlitos. Town, and that's Mr. House. Everyone keeps clean around him. The families, the barons, fuck, even the NCR. Any recommendations where to go for some My fun? My recommendation: get the fuck out of town while you can. We'll leave you hanging in the wind, or worse, add your body to a concrete wall. Okay. Mm. Till next round. I'd say for 99% of people he talks to, that'd be true, but you turned around? for Nova, that's just not true. Nova is too wealthy and too important, too good in a fight, and too just plain lucky for it to apply to her. But yeah, for most people, I would agree with what he just said. What does this lead to? Oh, this is, this is how you get to the upstairs area. Got it, got it. All right, all right, all right. Does any of it do anything? Vault 21 control? Or just let me up here? Vault security. System override. Vault life support. Access denied. Vault access control. Access denied. Okay. It's cool that it exists, though. Alright, back out we go. Uh, I guess the NCR embassy is next, because, you know... The casinos are going to be really fun, and you know, I like to save the best for last. I don't know, maybe the embassy will be fun. <laughs> maybe they'll take me for a, a spin. Maybe I'll be surprised. It's 1.30 on the 21st, huh? Yeah, okay. Christmas in four days in-game. That's kind of hype. I wonder if they're going to do anything for it. Wait, Michelangelo's workshop. Yeah, the neon signs thing, right? Michelangelo is such a good name. Oh, is this Michelangelo? Is it a chick? Hi. Oh, this is Kate. What can I do for you? Uh, what's this place? You saw our front sign, didn't you? This is where all the beautiful signs of the strip become a reality. It all comes from Michelangelo's imagination. We do a little work here and there too, sure, but he's the real artist. Okay. Uh, how long have you worked here? I've been here over a year now. 
Though I'm not one to get tired for long. I plan to roam the wasteland once I'm ready. Mm. The people need light and kindness. There's too much fear and pain out there already. Mm. You're dead. Who's Michelangelo? He's the reason the strip shines like a star at night. Mike's imagined and built every sign, billboard, and light you'll see around here. That's actually really cool, because there's some really crazy lights out here. Like the waves on the Tops Casino. If he built those too, that's kind of wild. Uh, tell me again about him. He's the reason. Yeah, I'm looking for Michelangelo. Check out the back of the shop. He's usually working there. Okay. I guess I can't buy a sign. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't know what I would do with buying a sign. Heal up a little bit here. Uh, Nuka Cola. That'll heal me to full. And it'll be delicious. I saw a person here. That's not Michelangelo. Hey. Hey. Excuse me, but I'm busy. It's a cool outfit she's got going on. Kind of dig that outfit. Where? I dig the fit. Where? Oh, is that him? That's got to be him. He's from Vault 21. Oh, hello. I am Michelangelo. How can I? Uh, wait. Are you here to deliver more billboard requests? Please tell me you're not a messenger on behalf of Mr. House. Of course I have to be having Mr. House. Why else would I be here? <laughs> um, why are you so jittery about Mr. House? Because spending myself to the edge of artistic oblivion for Mr. House sums up my existence since I had to leave Vault 21. That's why. An artist. Rare thing to see. What's your story? Well, I... Uh, not much, really. Vault 21 was my home. My dear home. I left it to explore the outside world. At first it was a marvel to behold. My inspiration flowed true, and its works caught Mr. House's attention. That's how I ended up in this place. It didn't work out the way he wanted. Sounds as if you don't like this place. What's wrong with it? I feel haunted by something terrible. Working in such a huge workshop often makes me shiver. I can't even leave the strip. Why don't you work? Why don't you put your workbench in a small room then? So is this fear of the outside world draining your inspiration? Yes, I think so. But please, uh, keep quiet about it. Without inspiration, I'm as good as a tumbleweed drifting in the barren wasteland. You exhibit clear symptoms of acute agoraphobia. I can help. Ah, an educated fellow. Now that is almost as rare as artistry. So, how can you help me regain my inspiration? <laughs> Medicine 55 we actually barely had. We, we didn't have that by much. Several years of psychoanalysis and a few thousand caps a month will fix you. I know this guy in Freeside, really good at trepanation. You'd be amazed how he... Grow a pair and go out into the real world to find your inspiration. Uh, I could escort you out into the wasteland. It's not so bad. Uh, that sounds like it would get him killed. Several years of psychoanalysis, a few thousand caps a month will fix you. Um, grow a pair and go out into the real world to find your inspiration. I could escort you. Thank you for the offer, but I think I really can't go to see... Wait a minute. I know, I don't have to necessarily be there to see it. Hand over the, screw it, hand over the capture, drop dead. <laughs> what a wild thing to say, what do you mean? Yes, yes, that's it. I have a camera. It is old, but it should work. Wow, really? Perhaps you could bring me images of inspiring landmarks. Wow, that's kind of wild. I'll help you. Have any landmarks in mind? Mickey, photography is a risky. Photography is a risky business. It's going to cost you a lot. There's an opportunity for profit anywhere, huh? Even if it means preying on the helpless. Okay, you shuckster. Shuckster. Fifty caps each if they are good. Sure. I'm glad we have an understanding. Now, do you have any landmarks in mind? I've always wanted to see the dinosaur and its thermometer sign at Novak. Then there's the famous Bison Steve sign. Okay, I can the hit McCarran those easy. Airfield and the Helios One power station signs are of much interest to my work. Can hit both of those? Like the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters bottle. Okay, yeah, I can get all those. Let's see, walk out the world and rough you up right now, Mickey, you lose. This is, it's crazy that I can just stick this guy up like this. Okay, you got a deal, I'll return with the pictures. Thank you. I really can't thank you enough for this. Please, get me all the pictures. I'll compensate you accordingly. Oh, and cool. More I was not expecting it, something like this. I'll get it for you. Again, thank you. Kodak R9000. 24 camera films added. Well, I only need five pictures, right? So I don't think I need that many. Aha. Uh -huh. 
the brave photographer returns. Good to see you. Goodbye. Oh, all right. Yeah, sorry. Dude, I just... you. I didn't even leave your presence yet. Don't be so bummed that I don't have your pictures yet. Okay. So I need five pictures, do I? Hey. Hey. Wow, there, yeah, there's a lot of cool signs out here, aren't there? But that takes a lot of work. I like, why doesn't he work in here? Where there's less obvious giant workshop giving him agoraphobia. Agoraphobia is the word I was trying to think of uh, earlier for uh, the other Vault 21 chick, but... Maybe they got so used to symmetry that asymmetry, like, freaks them out? I don't know. Like, that's part of what makes the outside so sketchy for them, is the asymmetry of it all. Don't shoot me because I'm here, by the way. Like when I got close to your monorail and you guys just started shooting. I hate that. Military Police HQ. Hey. Hey. Man, they, they must get tired of hearing the same songs all the time. But at least they have songs, to be fair. <laughs> Y'all busted. <laughs> that's funny. Sucks to be you guys. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I... Come on. Do. <sighs> Opened it on me. Hello, hello, hello. NCR trooper armor. Mm, kind of disappointing so far. Four missiles. I'll take those three energy cells. Every five gives me a, sh a shot with Pew Pew. Okay, I guess that's what I got. There's a cattle prod in here if I ever want a cattle prod. Interesting. Okay, he's over there now. So what's going on in the terminal? Ooh, an average locked desk. We're getting a lot of scraps of experience while we're here in the strip. Oh my god, I have the cell key. That's kind of nuts. Briefly, driving, grouped. Mm, I need more tries. The extra tries are hiding pretty well, actually. There you go. Grenade. There it is. Yeah, we're almost to level 35 just off of the, the scraps of experience we're getting here and there. Strip security notes. I've noticed an increase in the amount of smuggling of restricted items into the strip. I'm increasing security at the checkpoints to prevent more of this. A report has been sent to Ambassador Crocker via Lisa, Liza to address this. Two drunk troopers were causing a ruckus on the strip. MPs got involved and were able to resolve the situation before Securitron showed up. MPs received a complaint of suspicious activity near the Lucky 38. The complainant reported seeing a man hugging several trees. An intoxicated man was sleeping in the lobby of the tops. The woman reported a drunk man vomiting in the fountain in the front of the Ultralux. Ah, Gross. MPs were unable to find the man once arriving at the scene. MPs responded to a report of a young woman behind Las Vegas Station who locked herself in handcuffs. Okay. MPs broke up a fight between twin brothers near the Gamora. The brothers stated they were fighting over one of the dancers at Gamora. Why not? Trooper behavior report. Private Irwin has been causing trouble again. His pranks are starting to go a little too far. One more complaint, I'll put him behind bars. Damn. Let him know. Help you. Man, this embassy kind of sucks, guys, but at least you have some, like, real plants around you, so that's nice. I can't get over the fact that they actually have, like, thriving plants. Like, potted plants and stuff. That they're successfully growing. Liza! Welcome to the NCR embassy. How can I help you? Well, tell me about yourself. I don't have time to give my life story to everyone that passes through. Is there something I can actually help you with? Uh, what a bitch. What well, can you tell me about the embassy? The embassy offices are to your left, while the barracks and living quarters are to the right. Let's see if, if she gets it right, unlike like Dean. I suggest you talk to Ambassador Crocker. I'm looking for the ambassador. Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. Okay. Remember when Dean gave yeah. us the wrong directions in Sierra Madre and it almost got us killed? Because I remember. This is the opposite direction of what she said, by the way. This should be to the barracks. But I'm doing that on purpose. Yes, it is the barracks. She got her directions correct. Amazing. Captain Marie Pappas? I hear you've been meeting with Mr. House in the Lucky 38. Hmm. I bet you think you're pretty special, don't you? I don't think it. Special I know it. Or not, stay out of trouble, and more importantly, stay out of my way. What a nice girl. I'd like to know more about you. Not much to tell. 
Keeping the troopers in line and monitoring the strip keeps me busy. It's my job, and I'm going to do it well. Oh, that's now, right. That's all. I've got work to do. This is the one NCR chick that's actually allowed to have a weapon on the strip. That's right. What's happening on yeah, the strip? Yeah, more of the usual. We're keeping an eye on the troopers to make sure they don't do anything stupid. Or at least stupid yeah, the enough. The stupid one we've had lately is Private Irwin. He's starting to cause more trouble than he's worth. What can you tell me about the ambassador? Yeah, Crocker isn't too bad. He mostly stays in his office now. If you have any questions about the embassy, you should ask him. He'll talk your ear off. Dude, everybody's talking my ear off. Ever since we got to the strip, Bye. it's been talk, 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 talk. And you know what? Ooh. I hope you all don't mind, because I certainly don't mind. After dead money, it's been a relief to actually talk to people. Dead money was so much stress and almost no talking for so long. And constantly dying at... Almost dying. Constantly dying. Constantly almost dying at, like, every turn. See, you're the one that went into the Lucky 38. I bet that was pretty creepy. What can I do for you? A little bit. Uh, Can you tell me about the Captain Papas? Now, she may be a bit of a hard-ass, but she's the best damn captain we've had here. I'd be careful around her. Jake Irwin. Don't want to get on our bad side. Huh, I'm yawning. Like I said, I just woke up today. Uh, what do you know about the ambassador? He's a little stiff and stuffy. Doesn't leave the office that much. Always surrounds himself with papers and reports. I've always wanted to play a prank on him, but there's no way I could ever pull that off without getting in trouble from Captain Pappas. Little Pappas. Prank, you say? <laughs> yeah, I got a few ideas that I'm working on. Maybe I'll let you in on it once I have something. Okay. Tell me about yourself. What have you heard? I know people think I'm a little on the wild side, but I'm just trying to have fun, you know? Just because I happen to get into fights and like to pull pranks doesn't mean anything. Uh-huh. You're childish, probably. What's happening on the Strip? Us troopers mostly come to the Strip for our R&R. &R. We blow off some steam by gambling, drinking, partying, or fighting. If you're looking for a good time, I'd suggest hitting up Gamora. The girls there are pretty nice, if you know what I mean. Uh-huh. Okay. Ma'am. Ma'am. Help you? Yeah, I'm just tired of almost dying every, like, episode for a little bit. It's been nice to be able to just talk to people, get some some story going, some progress. Getting a lay of the land in the strip, which I'm hoping will be my long-term home for, you know, the rest of Nova's life, if I can control it. I haven't seen any place better. More military police, okay. He's got to be this one. Ooh. Look at him with the fancy office. And the nice fancy safe. You could make oh, it. I got have it. something I wanted to discuss with you. It's a very important matter, and I have a strong feeling you're the perfect person for the job. Okay, I'm listening. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. <laughs> I definitely would. You have the wrong person, but I'll pretend you have my attention. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like you to get in contact with them, and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. You know they shoot artillery the at me. to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. Yep. That's why I need someone like you. Yep. Yep. Someone they artillery you if you try. Reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. They broke in one of my legs once. Help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? Um, I'll find them and talk to them. Much appreciated. Once you've talked to them, come probably back not on your behalf, help. but sure. Uh, what's happening around the strip? It's Give the me your info. Stuff around here. Gambling, Things that go lottery, boom. Drunkenness. It's all here. I'm getting a little old for it, however. If you want more information, try talking to some of the other guys around here. Convince the to aid you in the upcoming battle. Anymore. The Battle of Hoover Dam is, I'm assuming, what they're re referencing. Pretty sure that's a big keystone monument moment in Fallout New Vegas. I'd like to know more about the NCR. I can provide a quick history lesson, if that's what you're looking for. In 2274, President Kimball sent the NCR army into the Mojave in force with the objective of... That's the same year Mr. House set up. Rangers and army scouts had confirmed that the dam was basically unoccupied and could be restored to an operable condition. Upon arriving at the dam, however, they discovered that a large force of tribals and robots had occupied it. This was our introduction to the three families, the Securitrons and, of course, Mr. House. Using his Securitrons as intermediaries, 
Mr. House called for parley. He claimed his forces had occupied Hoover Dam in order to safeguard it for our arrival, and that he was ready to turn it over to us, so long as we could agree to terms. Those terms became the Treaty of New Vegas. The treaty recognized Mr. House's sovereignty over the Strip and granted us rights to establish military bases at the dam and McCarran Airport. Okay. The NCR is legally permitted to send 95% of the electricity produced by the dam to our home states. And 5% to the Strip. The 5% goes to the Strip. Yep. The treaty actually That's, makes it illegal yep. for the NCR to prevent its citizens or troops on furlough from visiting the Strip. Once on the strip, our citizens are subject to arrest <laughs> or punishment by House of Securitrons, though that's a rare occurrence. Our troops enjoy a different status. It's illegal for the Securitrons to take action against them. Of course, it's also illegal for our troops to carry firearms on the strip, so there isn't much trouble they can get into. Okay. The military police does an adequate job. It's kind of a cool deal, Mr. House set up. I don't Still mad about Vault 21, times. though. The embassy was established a few weeks after the treaty was signed. Basically, Mr. House handed us a dumpy little building he had no interest in renovating. <laughs> I'm the third True. ambassador to hold this post, and the first, I think, to accept its limitations. My predecessors had ambitions of engineering the annexation of the Mojave. They thought they'd convince Mr. House to join up. I've never even spoken to the man, or whatever he is. Maybe the situation will change once we've beaten the Legion once and for all. Yeah, they have other things to focus on. Now we mostly just keep track of the NCR citizens and troopers around and make sure they don't get in trouble. But that's Captain Papa's job. I keep myself busy with paperwork and reports that get sent back to the NCR. It's mostly busy work, but every once in a while we make progress. Okay, interesting. Tell me about yourself. Interested in politics, huh? Well, grab a seat. No, and get not that kind of talk. I've been in politics quite a while now. Always had the drive to do it, even when I was young. It's just something I was drawn to. I started my career over 20 years ago back in the NCR as the local mayor and worked my way up from there. I managed President well, Clinton's first run for a seat on the council. I suppose that's why I have this ambassadorship. Okay, go ahead. I was elected to this post seven years ago. I'm You're getting a lot of history NCR today. representative to serve here in Vegas. Now, I've had my share of ups and downs along the way, but I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. That's I might... It. Anything else you wish to yeah, know? Yeah, I'm probably going to even name the episode The History of New Vegas because that's basically what we've gotten today. Uh, Thanks what's going on with the this. boomers? Remember, we need their resources to help us in the upcoming battle. Do whatever it takes. Okay, so do whatever it Goodbye. takes. So it's that kind of approach. I kind of respect that. But, uh, you know, I don't think the NCR actually means do whatever it takes. I don't think they're willing to go that far. Okay. Well, now we know. So we've been to the Ambassador, we've been to the Sign Shop, we've been to Vault 21 Gift Shop. I think the only two buildings left we haven't been to in all of the Strip is the Topps Casino and the Ultralux. So those are the two locations that we'll be checking out next time, and I'm super hyped for it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining Nova, Veronica, and I on this journey in Fallout New Vegas. Like I said, I'm super pumped. To check out the Ultra Lux and the Tops next time. Oh, there's so much to do. Thank you again so much. And we'll see all of you next time.